Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just doing a video on the incubator, and I'm going to be cutting a clutch. Um, this is my incubator. It's just an old deep freezer that I found, and uh, ripped all the internals out of it, and um, just made an incubator out of it. This is what it looks like on the inside. I've got two fans, one right there, and then one right there. You can get these fans at Walmart for like five bucks. What's unique about this incubator is even though I have heat tape, uh, two strips of four inch heat tape right there and then one running like that. Sorry if it's shaky, just trying to, just trying to show you every, everything. Okay, this heat tape isn't even plugged in. Okay, see it right there, it's not even plugged in. I'm getting my heat from these fans. The uh, Spider Robotics Herpstat 1 I have down there is controlling these fans. There's the probe. This one right here is telling the Herpstat when to turn off and on these fans. And these fans distribute enough heat throughout the incubator that they create themselves uh, pretty much perfectly. Um, so that's how I'm heating my incubator. I'm just using these fans. And uh, this is uh, kind of what it looks like. Got two, four, six, six clutches in there. I need to get uh, smaller tubs, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll plug those, uh, those strips of heat tape up, like, during the winter time, um, you know, just to help the fans out a little bit. But for the most part, these fans will heat up more than enough. Um, I was having problems, you know, <clears throat> with the heat tape and the fans during the summertime. I was like, you know, why is my incubator overheating? Well, it's because these fans will get to be 110, 120 degrees alone by themselves when they're constantly running. So I'm like, okay, let's turn off the heat tape. Let's just use the fans as, as heat. And, uh, and I mean, it's perfect. There's just a random one. <clears throat> Random egg tub. 88.1, it's a little low. 88.4, that's what I wanted at. So, it's all in the 88s. 88.7, 88.3, 88 88.7. This one right here, 87.5, okay? This is the one that's right next to the thermostat probe okay just so I have a secondary uh, source um, because you know the herb stat is, is off just just face it um, all herb stats aren't the same so you just gotta adjust it a little bit and I've got it adjusted Here, I'll go down to the uh, <coughs> down to the herb stat okay so I've got it set to 88.9 let's go into the settings here Output mode is on heat pulse, okay? So that's controlling the, uh, the fans. Let's go to daytime temp. You've already seen what the daytime temp is. All right, let's go uh, sensor adjustment. That's my sensor adjustment right now, minus 0.8, okay? And uh, it's our really personal preference on... Uh, if you want to adjust the sensor itself or you just want to raise or lower the actual uh, daytime temperature, which it, I wanted at 88.9, and that gives me perfect egg tub temperatures of about an average of 88.5 to 88.9-ish. Uh, uh, um, they're fluctuating right now just because I have it open and I'm getting ready to cut my pied clutch. All right. 